Talks Football, and today we're carrying on with that Deportivo La Coruña save. Uh, in today's episode, we have got two games against Granada and Osasuna. Hopefully, we can do something today. Um, we're going to carry on with the 4 3 3. I'm going to mix it up to see what we can do from there, but we will carry on with it as it worked last time. Um, I've moved him, as we saw before, into the second striker so he can roam around here and get in the box as well. Uh, and Reina, as we know from the red and save, will be in and around here as well. So that's good. Koresma will play as a defensive midfielder as well. So I'm going to put the 18 year old on the bench, actually. Um, see what we can do here. Hopefully, to carry on from the 3 0 win we did against Mallorca. And now trying up against Granada. But let's see what we do. Rudy Garcia is the manager of Granada. Let's see what we can do here. We don't need to look about their formation. We can see it here. 4 2 3 1. Is that Lucas Boy, the former Redin loaning? It is. Right, Agu's in already. Cross back, doesn't get there, but can we go? Reina, great save by the goalkeeper. Corner kick here. We're going to be aiming for the near post here. Can we get it? Oh, Jovic keeps it in. Brian keeps it in again. Keeper comes out to collect it. Does really well there, the keeper. To make sure it doesn't go wrong for them. So, so far, so good. A good start from us. Luka Jovic is doing quite well in this new way of playing for him. Saville are uh, beaten. Yeah, beaten Almira 2-0. We're guaranteed, I think, yeah, we're guaranteed Champions League football. Um, but I just feel like we now we're just looking for next season. What are we going to do? Are we going to be playing the five at the back? Becker Becker's there. It's just stops. He's become a bit of a disappointment this season. McTomney, Becca Becker, can he do something here? Scott McTomney cuts in. Rainer's there off the post. Becca Becker, Scott McTomney. And that's his 10th goal of the season. 1-0. 23 minutes played. And that's exactly the way we wanted to do. Very overload in the centre here. Off the post. Lag central. But that was really good play. Cilia. Okay. Well, we're down to 10 men. Not what I was expecting. I'm not going to sub him out. I think he can play there. Oh, bollocks. Silly out. Going out wide to Agu. When yet, Silly. Back to Agu. He does really well. And we know that this man can cross. And he does. Alpine's there. 21st goal of the season. Keeps tallying up that record of the re highest goal scorer ever in La Codrunia history. And the record breaker carries on. Alpine doing really well there to close them down. But it doesn't matter because Brian is trying to get through. Lovely defending there. Becca Becca. Renier finds Alpine. Goes out wide to Familia Castillo. What's he going to do with this? Back to Becca Becca. Jovic. Back to Jovic off the post. We've hit this woodwork at least three times, I swear. Two. I swear it's been one. All right, never. Never have I ever. And Lucas Boy, the former Royal, gets the goal. Make it 2-1. It's nice to see a different stadium. Anyway. Uh, praise them. They've been playing really well. Right, now going long. Lucas Boy versus Jao Victor does well. Renier in the midfield position, now running out wide. Where's he going to go? Who's he going to look for? Jovic is there. Becca Becker shoots over the top. Should have really passed that or cut inside more to get a better angle. Didn't really do that well enough. I'm so annoyed with Scott McTominay got a red card after scoring. Just annoying. We need to get one more goal. Kill this game off and we will be fine. Hundred and sixty-two 
Deportivo fans are here today to watch. Can we put them on a show? How's that 18,000 and that 16? One of you two's got it wrong. Oh, no, it's not 100, 162. Yeah. Right. Very close now to the Camilla Castillo. Went early, but it's a goal kick. Uh, Alpine can come off. We'll put Paul on. Charisma can come off for Agüero. Mila Castillo has not been performing recently. Bring Mola on as well. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. Oh, no. This is not good. I don't like this already. Oh, great save. Very close there to make it 2-2. Two -two. Can we get it out? Yeah. Don't know what happened there. Real Madrid destroying Real Betis has all but cemented them as champions. They are seven points clear with two more games, three more games left to play. So all they need is a win and then they will be guaranteed the title again. But this second half has all been Granada. They're playing well because they know that they have to go out wide. But Paul does well. Becca, Becca, Jovic out wide to Paul again. Can he find Becca, Becca? He can. It takes deflections and just no one finished it that there. There was a player out wide. He should have slotted them through, but didn't. And that might have just cost us here. Renier's going to come off for a can. And Cruz can come off for Becca Becca. Get a little bit more stamina in that midfield section there. Just to help us over the line here. This feels like the Real Betis game all over again. Come on, off the post. We both hit the woodwork twice today. Come on, we've got a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Go on. Oh, what a finish for his first goal of the season. That is game done and dusted. What a finish that is to finish, to end this game in the 93rd minute. I'm really worried and just tips it up for him, touches it down, smashes it into the corner. 3-1. Lovely stuff. Beautiful. Exactly what we needed for the first game of this episode. Scott McTominay's definitely let us down, so let's see what we can do with the next game. One more game, and then we're near the end of the season. We, I would like us to finish second. Um, have we ever won? Has Deportiva ever won La Liga? don't think they have. Uh, oh, they won it once in the year 2000. Okay. So the year 2000 was the last time they won it. And the highest position since then was eighth in 2005. So, and fifth. So we've had the highest position in 10 years. Um, and they've won the Copa del Rey twice. I won two trophies. Anyway, right, we'll see you again for the final game of the episode. Right, here we go, final game. We're going to keep with the formation. It's worked. Scott McTominay is out, uh, suspended. So, Agui is going to come in. Um, Chari can come in as well. Um, Ricky's not fully fit yet we might play the youngster as well I didn't feel comfortable playing him in the last game because we weren't comfortable so see what we can do here I'm very confident 
um, in this game. Arnie Slot, the guy that is uh, on the Reading save, manager of um, Aston Villa. My bogey team. One, two out of the last two. Almira have destroyed Atletico Bilbao 5 2. Real Madrid have beaten Mallorca 2 0, which guarantees them the title. We are very fucking far away from the trip. There we go. All right, Renier finds Jovic. Where's he going to go with this? Goes down the line. No one's supporting him. And he's just going. Becker, Becker. Agua is there and gets taken out. <clears throat> the referee has pointed to the spot of a VAR. Going to double check whether that was inside the box or not. And VAR have given the penalty. And up steps number 21, Alpine. Goal. For his 22nd goal of the season. He has come in and he's been absolutely wonderful for us ever since we brought him. One of those players that I'm just loving. Now, there is a lot of wanted players that we've got. Now, do I sell them and bring more money in? I don't know yet. But we will see. All right. Goes to the back post, able to clear it. Ah. Uh, are they going to be able to capitalise on this? Park has come through. Goal. Marvin Park has got the goal. His 15th goal of the season. And number two has got it. Goals. How is number two a winger? That's going to irritate me. But I'm going to ignore it. Right. Osasuna are also, or Tesco Pamploma, are also trying to get into the Champions League as well. With that point, they go above Valencia and get the fourth place position. And with this win, we are 10 points behind Real Madrid. But Barcelona have got a game in hand and can go above us. But we do have a better goal difference than them. Has not been a good end of the first half there. Need to fire them up a bit. Get them going. It's not what I want to see. At all. Just not doing anything, are we? Okay. Agu is also trying to break the record for most amount of assists in a season. The record is 17. Uh, we He's on 20, so he's broken it. Familia Castillo is the one that's with him that's trying to do it. I've paced them when I shouldn't have, and it's pissed the team off. Let's encourage them. Right, Familia Castillo, Ilya, back to Castillo. Finds Becker, Becker, back to Castillo. Can he get the ball in the box? And he does. And there's Gonetz. And Gonetz gets his second goal of the season. What an incredible pass that was by Familia Castillo. Put the team on his back there to get the ball into the box and done it beautifully. Oh, and here come Atletico Pamploma. They're in. Oh. Jesus Christ. Agu's going to come off for 2 2. And Becca Becker's going to come off for Mola with a roll with a geezer. Right. Of course it's a fucking goal. Why wouldn't it not be a fucking goal? Come on.
it feels like we take one step forward, one step back. Not happy with that. Right, that has been the end of this episode. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Come back tomorrow for the end of the season where we will see if we can finish second. It is all about finishing second now. More money, more prize money, and better chances in the Champions League as well. So with that, we're Love With Care. My name's been Mark. You guys have been